Hey guys, it is Thursday morning. I feel really tired. Um, I guess I got a decent amount of sleep last night. I went to bed probably around 1. I stayed up late-ish, I guess late. Because I was watching my boys and I read the first chapter of Spells. April and Pike. This is the sequel of the book I just finished. Right now, I'm gonna watch a bit more TV while I wake up and eat my breakfast, and then I'm gonna edit the video from yesterday because it's only about nine o'clock now, I think. So I'm up pretty early and. I have, time, I have plenty of time to edit the video yesterday, uh, of yesterday. Yesterday, when I edited, it was later than usual. Because so I woke up late and um, then Brandon got here before I had it edited, edited. So I ended up doing it at night time after he went when you went uh, left to go to class. So, I'm sorry if anybody was waiting for the video and expecting it by a certain time and it wasn't there yet. The up to upload times lately have been really varied. I need to wake up more. I can't even talk yet. I've got um, yeah. I, oh, and also for breakfast, I got my cocoa. I got the cocoa mix from Whole Foods, I think. They have a they had a bunch of them, they're like cans. Like, cardboard-ish. Cans. Canister things. And they were on sale one week, so I decided to try one of them. I think I have the traditional one. You just add soy milk, almond milk, rice milk, whatever. Um, I think all the varieties that they had, or at least most of them, were vegan. I went with the uh, traditional one. I want to try some other flavors too, if they still make them, if they still have them. That's, that was a while ago that I got these this cocoa mix. It's still good though. Totally still good. And it'll be gone soon probably if it stays cold like it has been. And also with my cocoa I got uh, English muffin with vegan margarine and some strawberry preserve and some fresh strawberries and blackberries. And a toothpick, which I don't eat, but I like to use a toothpick to eat the blackberries because the blackberries stay in my fingers because I'm so fair. Mm. I'll see you later. Hopefully I'll be more awake by then. Bye. Hey you guys, it's after midnight, so this is technically cheating. Um, but I didn't really tell you what I did today and I guess go by some people's definition it's not tomorrow till after you wake up today I browsed the interweb like I usually do looked at a lot of bento folder, uh, photos and recipes and things like that I tend to hoard recipes I save them or bookmark them to print out later and I have a bazillion cookbooks, and I don't use them enough. Um, look, I've been looking for fall recipes, basically, for the most part. Because I love fall. I love the food. I love the colors and the leaves. I don't think I could live somewhere that the leaves didn't change. 
we have to deal with the winter, but I love the colors. Uh, and I love the fall produce, I like pumpkin and squash and things like that. I finished watching My Boys today. I finished the series and so now I've got the what am I going to watch next on Netflix thing. Because I tend to do that. Breeze through a series in less than a week and then I don't know what to watch. I tried so hard to watch Super Troopers. I got 24 minutes in I said, this movie is so stupid. I think I could have sat through it if I was watching it with Brandon. We were watching it together. But by myself, I just felt like such an idiot watching that movie alone. It was just not me. I liked the... Um, meow scene and I thought that was cute. Actually, um, if anybody watches or watch My Boys, you recognize the guy that was sitting in the car. It's the same actor that played Andy, PJ's brother, in My Boys. Just a little fun thing. But yeah, that's about all I got out of that. And Something about berries tasting like berries at the beginning. That line sounded familiar, but I, I didn't watch the whole movie, so I'm not going to do a review on it. I either haven't watched or haven't been interested in watching a lot of the movies that have popped up in Typic Cinema lately, and I'm so behind on the vlogs. I don't know what has gotten into me. Um, I tend to go through these phases where I get obsessed with things. Uh, some of them stick for a while. Some of them don't. Um, I'm not like that. With my men, <laughs> luckily, I... I'm in it for the long haul. Brandon, don't worry. You don't have to worry. Brandon's not going anywhere. But with, like, hobbies and things, like, I'll go through phases where I'm knitting every single day. And then I won't knit again for, like, six months. Or longer. And then all of a sudden I'll get this bug and I'll want to knit again. And now I'm just thinking about it and talking about it. I'll make me want to start knitting again. I, I'll go through, um periods where I will read for several hours day after day. I try to read a little bit every day. I will go through um, phases where I want to draw all the time, which I should do more. But that's just the way I am. I go through different phases with different crafts or I'll cross stitch for hours at a time and then yeah I keep getting cut off because I didn't wipe my memory card like I was supposed to <sighs> I have a bad habit of not doing that I've got my earbuds in my ear right now because I was listening to an audiobook that's one of my things that I picked up that I tend to do and stick with unless I lose my transfer cord like I did for about a week maybe longer but I was tidying up today and I found it under the couch so that was awesome right so I was able to put some of my books that I downloaded from the library onto my little Uh, audiobook thing. If you have a library that uses um, Overdrive for digital files, I highly recommend you get one of these. And if you don't know if your library has it, 
I suggest that you find out. That little thing is so awesome. Walking around the house, doing chores. If I did actually exercise regularly, it'd be good for that because it clips right to my clothes. I can listen to my books and you can use it for music and radio and stuff too, but I just I use it for just audiobooks. And I love it. Brandon got me it. I cracked the front by accident because it fell off of the edge of the couch. So hopefully it still works for a while. I'm afraid that I screwed up by doing that. So yeah, I have three books in progress right now. One is Speak by Lori Halsey Anderson. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce her name. Brandon hates this book because he had to read it in high school. I seen the movie uh, a while ago with Kristen Stewart. Um, I didn't think that the movie was terrible. I uh, listened to Winter Girls, the same author, an audio, so I figured I listened to Speak as well because they had both available. And I'm also reading in paper Spells by April Ling Pike, which is a sequel to Wings, the last book that I finished. And I'm also for quite some time on my iPod Touch since basically since Brandon gave me it when he got his iPhone. That's how long I've been reading the same book on it. I don't read on a backlit screen. I'll read blogs or skim over blogs unless I really like the person that's writing it or I find them really interesting. I won't really read them. I don't like to read off a backlit screen for extended periods of time. Facebook status messages or captions on photos and blogs and th things like that are one thing. But I will not read a book on a backlit screen. So I'm, I'm, re but I'm, I'm reading Gone by Michael Grant, and I've been working on it for a while on my uh, iPod Touch because I can't find the charging cord for my Kindle, my old school first generation Kindle. I really want a new one. Really, really want a new one. A new, I want the new touch one. And of course, ev everyone wants the Kindle Fire, but I wouldn't. I would be using it for primarily other things aside from reading, browsing the internet, and um, recipe books and blogs. Oh my gosh, it would be so amazing for recipe books and cooking blogs. I would love, love, love it for that. Uh, But that's about it. Uh, I need to get some sleep. I might listen to my audiobook or read a little bit more before bed. But I think I need to get to sleep. Because um, tomorrow is a weekday and everybody gets up er early in my house on a weekday. So, it's, I always get woke up by the noise. I will see you guys later, tomorrow, later, however you want to look at it. Uh, bye for now. Hey, what's up you guys? It's the end of the day, and... What did I do today? I've been up since 8 in the morning, and it's about almost 1 now. So I'm going to film this quick and read and then go to bed because I'm kind of tired. Yeah, today I got up and I took the puppy to the groomer and then I picked him up. And I worked 12 to 9, and you know the rest by now. Um, so my day was pretty uneventful. Did you guys hear Gaddafi died? That's... So it goes.
You know, it's... I don't... I, like, I can't celebrate another person's death, but I realize the world is a better place without him, so... Hey, it's a good day for the people of Libya. But... It doesn't really affect me personally, I guess. Kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. Um, I heard the story today. This is crazy. Uh, this guy plays for the Detroit Lions in football, Jerome Harrison. He got traded to the Eagles. And in order for the trade to go through, he had to pass a physical. But when he got his physical, it revealed he has a brain tumor. Nullifying the trade and, like, saving his life, potentially, like... the Getting traded by his team saved his life because he probably wouldn't have. I mean, he probably wouldn't have had another physical until maybe training camp next year, which is like next August, early next August, maybe late July. I forget when training camp's open. It depends on the team. So that's, that's potentially another year before they could have gotten caught. But because they tried to trade him, they found it. So. Uh, it like I heard the prognosis. It looks good. He's probably not going to be back this season. But wow, uh, what am I going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow I need to edit. I need to get up early, sort of, and edit my uh, response, my review of Super Troopers, because I I did one on my own. Because me and Jen didn't have time to watch it together. I filmed it. I haven't edited it yet. I'll do it before work. Let's try and get up for like. I think 11, 10, 9, 10. Give me time to edit it, upload it, set it up as a video response. Um, all that good stuff. And then tomorrow I work 2.30 to 7.30 doing a, a cooking demonstration thing. I don't know what I'm cooking. I don't even know which department I'm doing it in. But, whatever. Something different. Although I'm kind of like, in a way I'm not looking forward to it, because it's kind of like one of those reasons... I don't want to work from end as a cashier because I don't want to have to stay in the same 2x2 two two square all day. And it's basically going to be five hours standing behind that counter, like, cooking and handing out samples, but, like, still. If it's slow and I'm not getting a lot of, like, traffic, i be bored. It'll suck. But, eh, we'll see how it goes. This is the first time I've ever done one of these things. Like, I I've done smaller ones where I just, like, I cook for an hour. But I've never done one of these shifts that's like a five-hour shift strictly dedicated to uh, cooking demonstration. Let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes tomorrow night. If I remember to film, I should. I have jury duty next week. That's going to suck. Next Wednesday, I have jury duty. Maybe. Um, I don't know how it is where you guys live, or if you guys are even old enough to be summoned for jury duty. But, like, I know here in Massachusetts I have to call the day before, and if they don't need me, they'll be like, yeah, I don't show up. Um, but if they do need me, they'll call me in, potentially. Um, even if I get called in, I could be just, like, sit in a room for a few hours and then get sent home, or end up on a jury. Who knows? But, like, I got summoned for jury duty once before. Uh, 17 months ago, and they told me, like, I called it up in there, I called up the number the night before, and they're like, uh, don't bother, don't need you, don't come in. But, like, it sucks, because, like, if I'd gotten called in and sent home, they can't summon me again for three years. But, they didn't call me in, so, here we are a year and a half later, not even. Bye.